Hello everyone, it is I, Sakamoto, and welcome back to more Undertale Revisited with me, your boy, Sakamoto. <laughs> Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the Undersnow Tunnels, they're efficiently laid out. <gasps> wow, amazing. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Uh... Hmm... I have abs on it. Yay. <laughs> Eat it twice? Oh, yes. Ah, oh, crap. BRB. Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you're from, but if I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Uh. If you're really hurting. What? If you're really hurting for cash, then maybe you could do some crowdfunding. I hear people will pay for anything nowadays. Say hello. Hi! Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital. Or the... not the capital. You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? Oh, she does say the capital. Okay. What to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky, wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Real life. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down the freedom is com coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Okay. Alright, let me go and put away something so I... Wait, I don't even need the wool. Blah, 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 blah. I can do this. Yeah. I can get a cinnamon bun. I'm still carrying too much? Okay. I thought equipping an item would make it disappear from the thing, but I guess not. Hmm. Ugh, excuse me. Oh, it made me put the faded rim in the box. Okay, I got it. Actually, I'll leave one extra. Okay, now I can get the cinnamon bun. Thanks. Have a nice... The end. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's for me a hotel. One night is ADG. Stay. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. I don't think I'd be able to sleep with all that unless I had a loud ass fan. <laughs> this door sounded like farts for a second. Hi, you look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible because you're only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. So we have 30 health now. Sweet. And we got it for free. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Don't remember if I read that at the end of the last episode. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Isn't just isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Button buns are so adorable. Tiki! Oh, because he's a rabbit with a pet rabbit. That's pretty funny. 
Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So he started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Huh. That's pretty great. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Nice. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Well, <gasps> Is Grillbees. With that cool sand theme song. I love how the no commentary versions are gonna have my character dancing around the screen for no reason <laughs> other than to just dance to the music. Alright. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and ma take me for a walk, please. But I'm, I'm dancing to the music, that's what it is. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Okay. That didn't sound so bad. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and... and Hawkeyes! Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> Boing. The two fox is broken. Sad face. The, <laughs> the capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city suckers sub onto their butts. <laughs> Grilb said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> it's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. I put a line out for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. That made me think of a recent Try Not To Laugh from Smosh, <laughs> where Tommy was doing this whole skit about... <laughs> you guys have to see it. Oh man, I don't remember which one it was. It was 120-something, I think, or maybe one of the 130s. I don't even know. Those... Maybe one of you guys knows. Um, Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military -led group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in the way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Alright. That was Grilby. That was fun. We're gonna go back there eventually. Everyone is always cra laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget- Oh, you're a mouse. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. <laughs> nice. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? <laughs> hey guys, it's the library. We'll go visit it in a short while. Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Let's play monsters and humans, oh. Ha, ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ha, ah, my patience rewards me. Aw, oh, man. The music stopped. I started back from the beginning again. Oh, well. That's okay, because we're going to the library anyway, but the library be anyway, but the music's still going, so whatever. I thought the music would be different in here. That look in your eye. There's someone that has difficulty solving Jim and your jumble, aren't you? Okay, okay, no. Just wait a minute. It's not that hard. <laughs> Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. 
It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if, being with a powerful, if a being with a powerful soul struck the de with the desire to kill, uh, let's end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names? <laughs> Welcome to the library. Yes, we know, the sign is misspelled. <coughs> I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. <laughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search grader in the entire underground. Nice. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. <laughs> Same. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside. Uh, yes, it's empty. Aw, papyrus. I'll be your friend. I'll send you mail. It's locked on the inside. It's like, oh, we can't go in there yet. Okay. We didn't really do anything, but I do want to save one more time. Uh, you know, I might need that, because we're about to go against Papyrus. I've been getting hit a lot. Human, allow me to tell you some. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's papyrus, the newest member of the royal guard. Uh-oh, Papyrus blocks away. Looking suave and epic, as always. Should I flirt with him? Or insult him? Or just try to spare him. So you won't fight! Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! Oh no. What do I do? Ah, I've been hit. I was not expecting that, actually. I forgot all about that. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> oh, we got the drums now. And the bass picked up. You're blue now. Flirt. Pyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Let's date later, after I capture you. Okay, all right. Paris is considering his options. He's too busy fighting. How high can you jump? 
I love that. Pirates is busy. Yeah. Pirates is too busy. This. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Alright. Pirates is busy. Yeah. I can almost taste my future popularity. Ow! Rattling his bones. Attack 20, defense 20. He likes to say, Nyeh. Papyrus, head of the royal god. Papyrus, un. Unparalleled Spigator! Ah! Ooh! Considering his options. Undyne will be really proud of me! Ah! Croptola! I don't want to be blue anymore! Papyrus remembered a bad joke Sansold in his family. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Ah! Trying hard to play it cool. My brother will... Well, he won't change very much. Frick Tola! Papyrus prepares a non-bone attack, then spends a minute fixing his mistake. I'll have lots of admirers, but... I'm gonna have to eat a bicycle. Preparing a bone attack. How will I know if people secretly break me? Like you is really rare. Pirates is cackling. I don't think they'll let you go. Oh crap. Ow. Smells like bones. After you're captured and sent away. You eat the unicycle. Unicycle? Your HP was maxed out. Bicycle? Unicycle? Uh, who cares? Give up! Ah! Give up or face my special attack! <laughs> Paris was rattling his bones. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack! Paris is rattling his bones. Not too long and I will use that special attack! Jeez, man. I'm so bad at this. Uh. Papyrus prepares a non-bone attack, then spends a minute fixing his mistake. Whatever. This is your last chance before my special attack! Crap. Yay. Behold, my special attack! What the heck? That's my special attack? Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on the phone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Da -da -da. Oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Okay, um... 
is an absolutely normal attack. Ow. Ah! Ah, not the bone. Cool. Dude. No bone on a skateboard with sunglasses. Ah, frick. me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. No. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and... My friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends? With me? Well then. Well then, I guess... I, I guess I can make it an allowance for you. Wow! I have friends! And who knew that all I needed to make them... Was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all on the ground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then, us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, we'll have to pass to the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... well... He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and hang out. <laughs> All right, buddy, thanks. I'll see you in a little bit. <sighs> yeah, I was saying, like, I'm really bad at that. And I can only imagine how hard it is to fight Sans, because he's, like, ten times harder than Papyrus. Maybe a hundred times harder. <laughs> uh, the sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. And I was thinking about maybe doing a genocide run eventually, even though it's going to be really dark and depressing and it's going to like destroy my soul, like literally my soul in real life to do it. But I really want to fight Sans. But also, I kind of don't. Because it's going to be really taxing and difficult. And I, I did try it once and it was not only very terrible, um, you know, emotion wise, but... I couldn't get past Sundine. Oh, uh, this was like six or seven years ago. I just couldn't get past her. Uh, but I don't know. Let's go. Uh, let's let's hang out with Papyrus pa 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 for now. Did I save? Damn you, short-term memory loss. I think I did, but I, I'm just gonna OCD. Also, That's something else I have that I'm gonna use to do that. Okay, now we're gonna go. And hang out with Papyrus. So, you came back to see me. You must really be serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Oh boy, 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 where are we going? 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 I'm so excited. Where are you taking me? Why are we going back? What the heck is this? Hey, what? My house. Oh. Okay. Same. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sand. Sands, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. 
Okay. Remove the two edges. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Did you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. <laughs> Classic brother arguments. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, for use my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! <laughs> but um Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Um My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg sus substance. How absurd! <laughs> okay, I think that's it for the kitchen. You touch the couch, it makes a jingling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. Yay. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes, inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. A classic image! It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door is locked. Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and hang out like a pair of very cool friends. Go inside? Yes. <laughs> Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it was basically just happened. You know, basically just happened. <clears throat> Let me see here. Uh, the internet! I'm quite popular there. It, I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending my... Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. <laughs> Alright. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet. Yeah. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Cool. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world? Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> that book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. <laughs> ah yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Nice. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start hanging out? Begin the hangouts? Yes. Okay, let's hang then. Hang out, start. Here we are, hanging out. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official hangout guidebook from the library. Are we supposed to be on a date? We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for a friendship HUD. Uh, does this count as a date with Papyrus? <laughs> Prime. Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them to hang out. Ahem, human. I, the great papyrus, will hang out with you. Yes. But really? Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. 
concept are you? Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That's good dander around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to hang out with me from the very beginning? Yes. No. You planned it all. You're way better at hanging out than I am. No, your friendship power. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at hanging out and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear special my special clothes and these my regular clothes. Just in case someone wants to hang out. Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This hangout won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. You even expect to see. I think it's under his hat. My hat? My hat. My hat! Yeah. Well, well, then you found my secret. I suppose that I have no choice. It's a present. A present is just for you. Open it. Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you were thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh so wrong. This ain't any old plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. Hold on. Uh, the taste is indescribable. What a pas What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking, and by extension me, even more than I do. Ugh! Ugh! No! Human, it's clear now. You're completely obsessed with me. Everything you do, everything you say... It's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy, too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you I, Papyrus... Hmm. Well, I'm flattered you care so much. But maybe pull it a little bit? You're a very nice person, but I'm, gl I'm glad we're friends. But I think you can reach your max potential if you live more for your own sake rather than just for mine. Hmm. Hey, I know the solution. You should hang out with my boss and dine. I think if you spread your friend energy out more, you'll have a healthy, more healthy lifestyle. Yeah, let's be friends with Undyne. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, I looked it up and yeah, apparently if you don't flirt with him... Uh, it just changes it to hang out, but you still get the true pass for sending, so we're good. We don't have to reset or do anything weird. We can save and continue onward. Hmm. In the next episode, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna end this one here. I'll see you guys. No, I don't feel like leaving it off on that note. I'll just remember where to edit. I'll be looking that up on my slow internet. <laughs> I want to keep playing this episode. At least a little, maybe the next save point or something, I don't know. We'll see. Hey, it's Sans. Oh, we're already there. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? 
I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> this is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing I heard over and over. <laughs> what? Haven't you seen the guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll find myself away from my work. <laughs> Over here, I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sandy. Oh, those are two different. Oh, well. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? No, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Uh, here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Definitely wasn't you. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Will be. We'll have a double order bird. So, what do you think? My brother. Cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit. You if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? No. More for me. He eats all. He drinks all bottle. Nice. <laughs> Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree if Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he tries keeping like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day he went to the house of the head of the Royal He went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard. And begged her to let him be in it. Of course she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was ominous. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 gold. Sure. Just kidding. Kobe, put it on my tab. Why is it 10,000 gold for two burgers? By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Nice. Same. What about my burger? I never ate it. Whatever. Okay, that's gonna be the end of this episode. <sighs> Which means I should go this way until we get to the same point. I wonder if that shadow unlocks. I think it does. Yeah, that's right. I remember now. Or like you can go out into the back of it or something. I don't know. Now I'm tempted to go see. Hmm. Can we go into the back of it and get inside now? Or do we need to beat the game first? We're gonna find out this time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> oh man, I can't go. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, we have to unlock the door. Okay. <sighs> Sleepy Sakamoto. Sleep. Sleepy Sakamoto. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching this episode of Undertale. We visit it. It's me, your boy, Sakamoto. And I will see you all in the next episode. Later.
you can watch the no commentary version. And tomorrow we will continue the adventure at 10 a.m. Eastern. And the no commentary versions are coming out at 3 p.m. Eastern, as you probably already know that. So yeah, love you guys. Have a great. <laughs>